Hello students, today we are going to be looking at multiplication with regrouping. And the question that we are going to look at today is 54 times 3. Now we learn that multiplication is can be thought of as groups of. I'm going to let 3 be the number of groups. So when I have 54 times 3, I'm going to read it as 3 groups of 54. And so that's what I'm going to be writing down here. I want to find out 3 groups of 54. Now we know that numbers, every digit in a number has its place. 4 is in the 1's place and 5 is in the 10's place. So if I show the, the number 54 in place value this, it is going to look something like this. 50, 5 tenths, and 4 1's. Now if I want 3 groups of 54, now this is 1 group of 54, 3 groups of 54 would look like this, 54 one group, 54 another group, and 54 the third group. Okay, so in multiplication, basically we're saying three groups of 54, how many are there in all? How many are there in three groups of 54? So we're going to begin by multiplying the ones. Now, 54 has four ones. If I have three, three groups of four ones, I would have 12 ones. As you can see here, 4 ones plus 4 ones plus 4 ones. That will give me 12 ones. Now, can I write 12 here? No, because I need to regroup. So I'm going to write my regrouping statements down below here. I have 12 ones. And 12 ones can be regrouped as 1, 10 and 2 ones. Okay, how do we see this? Every 10 ones is going to give me 110. Okay, so if I have 10 ones, okay, 10 and 2, yeah, every 10 ones can be regrouped as 110. So instead of calling it 10 ones, I can call it 110, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to regroup. Instead of calling it 12 ones, I have called it 110 and 2 ones. Okay, and because I have 2 ones there, I'm going to put 2 in the ones place. Okay. Now, where do I put this tens? I'm going to put it up there with the other tens. So I'm going to put that one here. And this one shows me that there is one ten here that needs to be added later. Okay? Now, let's go to the tens. I have five tens in 54. Five tens. And if I want three groups of five tens, five tens, five tens, five tens, I would have... 3 times 5, 15 tens. Now, 15 tens, and we need to add that 1 ten that we regrouped just now. So, all together, I have 16 tens. Okay? 16 tens is the same as 100 and 6 tens. Okay, how do I see this? If I have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, if I have 10 tens, okay, 16, I'm going to split into 10 tens and 6 tens, I can call or I can regroup 10 tens to become 100. 10 tens is the same as 100, and that's what I'm going to regroup. Instead of calling it um, 10 tens, I'm going to call it 100. Okay, so I have 6 tens left, and that's what I'm going to put here. Yep, and this 100 actually goes up there. But because I have no 100s here, I basically just put that 100 in the 100s, in the hundreds place. Okay, so now, 3 groups of 54 has given me 100 and 60, 6 tens, and 2 ones. 162. And that is what multiplication is. It is about finding the total number in three groups of 54. Now, this is regrouping. Regrouping is um, putting together the ones, if we have too many ones, to put them together and call them tens to regroup. Or if we have too many tens, we can regroup them to become hundreds. And that is multiplication with regrouping.